Welcome to Magical Women. I'm your host, Connie Boyd, and I'd like to thank the Magic Castle and the Academy of Magical Arts for allowing Magical Women to broadcast this footage from the exclusive members only edition of Behind the Bookcase with Gay Blackstone, Shoot Ogawa, and myself. I think we need to see some of the pictures. Okay, that's the performance, uh, the routine that I did for you, and um, uh, what made it unique to me is I was able to manipulate the hoop by myself, and so the magic became, uh, the magician was actually executing the magic as opposed to uh, an assistant. So w once again, creativity, uniqueness, and I love the fact that the hoop was balanced on your heel. Yeah, and of course on my high heels. Because I'm curious, did you use hoop just yourself to examine the yeah. illusion? Yeah, um, how, once I, how would did you... it, I, I would I would pick up the hoop and I would uh, extend the hoop and then I'd use the hoop to demonstrate that there was nothing around me. So um, it was just, uh, it was a, a, a different way, a woman's way, a, a creative feminine way to, to do a traditional um, magic illusion. Yes. There's the floating and flying leotard <laughs> in all its uh, simplicity. Simplicity and exquisite and incredible magic. Thank you. So I'm going to show you another one. It was amazing. One. I, uh -huh. I can speak from firsthand experience. This all is right, why so she I'm became award winning. Oh, okay, so here I'm uh, performing my version of Don Wayne's uh, room prediction. And uh, we've, again, things have evolved, so we are able to perform a small close-up uh, magic routine. But with image projection behind you, now 2,000 people can watch it in real time. I think, that, I think what makes that particular piece of magic so strong is that the key is around the volunteer's neck the entire time. And so it's impossible. And you actually get gasps from the people immediately in front of you because the prediction happens directly in front of them in the audience. That's the upside down straight jacket escape over a bed of nails. <laughs> and that was great fun to do. I actually love, I, I, I don't know if you know Gay, I, years ago I worked in the circus and I, I did um, single trapeze and I traveled uh, uh, all over the world performing single trapeze. So I'm not afraid of heights and I had so much fun performing that routine and flailing about and, and scaring people. It was, it was fun. <laughs> okay, Connie, then go on and talk, tell us some about both the uh, consulting as well as then how you got into mentoring. Did you subscribe to our Magical Woman channel? Come on, you can do it. Subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you'll be aware of future Magical Woman talks. Okay. Uh, as a result of um, working with various companies and uh, sort of gaining credibility and respect, uh, I, I started to be hired as a consultant and I created uh, Magic for Magic Productions and I worked within uh, productions with producers if they wanted a magic sh effect within their show. And then that led me to uh, having an opportunity where they decided that they would produce a, magic, a, a complete magic production around me. And that, that straight jacket was the finale of that magic production that we did. And I worked with a South African production company called Afro Arimba. And they had a very, very high standard of dancers, high standard of production, high standard. And their producers were extremely experienced. So I shadowed them and I absorbed as much as I could from them. I like to challenge myself. Uh, I, liked, I like to learn new things. Uh, and so I was able to learn how to produce a show and how to direct a show and how to manage a cast. And so those are huge learning curves. But um, yeah, that, so that started my my consulting and being on creative teams and then leading to direction and, uh, and producing. But really, Gay, if you think about it, um, any magician that does their own show has produced a show because in order to perform a show, you must be the producer. You must know all the elements of your show. You must know your lighting. You must know your sound. You must know your audio visual. So 
most magicians that have their own performance are in a form. They are the producers. Anything that you do, Connie, is always so good. And you set the bar for women in magic. And you are very much one of the magical women. Thank you so much, dude. That means so much to me. Now, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Come on, you can do it. We need subscribers to obtain more privileges with YouTube. So please, please hit that notifications bell. Spread the word and comment. We love to hear from you.